Hey, my name is Gaia Sia and in this video I'm going to talk about where we go from here by Lucas Rocha. This book is a young adult book. It takes place in Brazil, Brazil. And it is a, a translated into English. Um, and it is about three uh, characters. It's written from three points of view. Well, here is the synopsis, but it's quite a bit to read, I suppose. So we have three characters. Ian uh, learns that he has been, that he's testing positive for HIV. Um, and yeah, that um, has a big impact on him. He's processing that. He meets Victor. Um, Victor has tested negative, so they both go to the same clinic. This is in the beginning of the book. And Victor tested negative. Ian tested positive. They didn't know each other, but then after they both went to the clinic, they meet outside. I think at the bus stop, possibly. Um, Victor is, was dating Henrik. Henrik? Um, and Henrik has been living with HIV for three years. Um, and it says he is um, undetectable, he can't transmit it to anyone else, but Victor feels betrayed that Henrik didn't tell him sooner. Um, and then Victor is compelled to introduce Ian to Henrik um, because Henrik has known for a few years um, and he's thinking maybe Henrik can help Ian going through, well, um, what he's going through, uh, just to, you know, to understand, like, what's going to happen. And I'm not telling this all that well, really. The synopsis tells it so much better. Um, this is a debut novel, and it is written, uh, like I said, from the three points of view. So we have Ian, and then Victor and Harik. I can't remember if they alternate in that exact same way throughout the whole book or whether it switches around sometimes. I, I can't remember that. It's been a while since I read this, um, but I enjoyed it and I also um, liked to learn more about HIV and the state of it nowadays because this is a pretty new book. I think it was, the English version was published in 2020 and it looks like the original uh, was published in 2018. And I don't often read books set in South America, so that was also nice to to read about that. I I liked it. Um, the characters could maybe need a little bit of work, but I I I, I found it an, an enjoyable read. And um, every now and then, there's like some text messages um, that the characters are sending. And, well, I enjoyed it, um, but yeah, I liked it. I didn't actually specify that, but, um, you know, Victor and Enrique were dating. Um, and in, in the beginning of this book, Victor breaks up with Henrique because Henrique tells him about his HIV uh, status and being undetectable after they um, have done something, let me put it that way. Um, it's been a long time, so I don't quite remember exactly what happens. So this has LGBT elements, that's that's just what I was getting at. I don't quite recall exactly if, like, because I'm pretty sure one of these three is, is bi, and one of them is gay, but I don't, yeah, I don't quite recall exactly everything. But there are LGBT characters in this, so that's just, I just wanted to point that out if, if that wasn't um, uh, clear by the fact that Han Victor and Harry were in a relationship. But, yeah. Anyway, um, but I don't, I'm not spoiling what's going to happen later on in the book and everything. I, I enjoyed it. Yeah, <laughs> I don't really know what else, what else to say. Um, thank you very much for watching this video and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!